everyone, this is Miss Hamilton. Today we're going to be learning how to make blonde brownies. They're also known as blondie bars. Uh, a blondie is a version of a brownie, except it doesn't have cocoa powder. So the blondie is actually going to be yellow in color. Um, it's a type of bar cookie. So once the blondies are done being baked in the oven, we're going to cut them into rectangular squares. Follow along with the recipe I gave you in class for the blondies, or you can log on to the eboard download the recipe from home. While you're watching, you should be filling out your cooking lab demonstration sheet. And remember, after the video, you have to answer the review questions. So first, we're going to go over all of the ingredients to make the blondie bars. First, we're going to need one stick of butter that's softened. And what I did to soften the butter was microwave it for 10 seconds. We're going to be using one cup of brown sugar. I want to show you what brown sugar looks like. Okay, brown sugar is nice and soft. Okay, and a light brown color. This is your brown sugar. We're also going to be using one egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking powder, which will make our, brown, our blondies rise. One pinch of salt. One cup of all-purpose flour. And chocolate chips. So first it says in the directions to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So I'm going to come over to the oven and show you that the dial is already at 350 degrees. So come closely so you can see. The oven temperature is at 350. When the oven is preheated, this light turns off or the oven's going to beep. That's how you're going to know the oven's to temperature. Step two in the directions say to line an eight inch square baking pan with aluminum, aluminum foil making sure the foil is tucked into all corners and that there is at least one inch overhang around the top of the pan. So this is an eight by eight, eight by eight square pan. So this eight inches by eight inches. I'm going to take aluminum foil and cut the aluminum foil. I'm going to tuck it in to the pan. Okay, so I'm going to tuck in the foil into all of the, all of the corners. And I'm going to leave some aluminum foil overhanging on the top. Okay, as you can see. Next, I'm going to spray this aluminum foil with cooking spray lightly and this is going to prevent the blondies from sticking. Once you spray the foil, you're going to set this pan aside for later use. I'm going to place this right over here for now. Next, we're going to start to measure our wet ingredients. Now, whenever we're working, you want to cut some wax paper to protect the counter. So I'm going to cut wax paper and lay it down flat before I do any measuring. We're using two, two mixing bowls. One mixing bowl is going to be for our wet ingredients, and a little later on you'll see that the second mixing bowl is for our, is for our dry ingredients. So right now, step three says to take the softened butter and combine it with uh, the brown sugar. So I'm gonna take the softened butter, scrape it out of the small bowl. And I'm going to measure out my brown sugar. So we need one cup of brown sugar. To measure brown sugar properly, you need to take a spoon and fill up the measuring cup. We're going to pack it in. So I want you to see what it looks like when you pack in brown sugar. 
So come nice and closely so you have a view. So I'm scooping out the brown sugar. I'm taking the back of the spoon and pressing it down. So the brown sugar takes shape. Once I have the one cup, I'm gonna just slim, simply turn it over. And now I'm gonna combine the softened butter and sugar. Using the wooden spoon, I'm gonna mix the butter and the sugar together. This is called creaming the butter. You're going to combine the sugar and the butter until it's a nice, fluffy consistency. Just like that. Okay. So we're going to add the rest of our wet ingredients to the creamed butter mixture. We're going to add our one egg. So I'm going to take a thin spatula, make a nice Cut there. I'm going to add the egg and my one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm using one teaspoon. Again, I'm measuring over the wax paper away from the bowl in case I spill. Add one teaspoon. And I'm going to continue to combine the wet ingredients. So I'm going to mix this until all of the well, wet ingredients are well combined. Next, we're going to move on to measuring our dry ingredients. So like I mentioned previously, we're using a separate mixing bowl for all of our dry ingredients. So now we're going to measure our flour, salt, baking powder, all together in this mixing bowl. So. I'm going to measure my one cup of all-purpose flour by spooning it in. Okay, for a heaping cupful, and I'm going to level that off, place that in the bowl. Next, I'm going to add my baking powder. So I'm using one teaspoon of baking powder. So. I'm going to take my teaspoon and scoop out the one teaspoon of baking powder and I'm going to level that off. One teaspoon in. And lastly we need a pinch of salt. So I'm going to pour just a little bit of salt in my palm. I'm going to take my pointer and my thumb, grab a pinch, and sprinkle it in. I'm going to combine the dry ingredients with a wooden spoon. So now we have our wet ingredients mixed and our dry ingredients mixed. The next step is to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. So I'm going to take my rubber scraper and scrape all of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredient bowl. Okay, so I want to get all of the batter into the bowl. Okay, so it's just about clean. The next step is to mix the wet and dry ingredients together. So I'm going to take my wooden spoon and mix both wet and dry ingredients until both are well combined. What the wet and dry ingredients look like once they're all combined. Now the reason why I say to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients is so the powdery ingredients don't end up all over the counter. It's a lot easier to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients that way. The last step is to add our chocolate chips. So we're going to be using the one-third cup for our chocolate chips. Just take your hand, measure out the one-third cup, pack it in, and now we're going to add that to the mixture. Again, use your wooden spoon to 
combine. Okay, once we have the chocolate chips added into the cookie mixture, now it's time to put the cookie dough into our greased pan from before. So I'm going to take my rubber scraper and scrape all of the batter into the 8x8 pan. So, here we go. Take my rubber scraper, scrape all of the sides into the pan. So come closely so you can see what this looks like. So again, I've scraped the pan, I should say, scraped the bowl, and now I'm going to take the rubber scraper and I'm going to spread the cookie dough, or the blondie batter I should say, across the pan. You want to try and spread the blondie batter across the pan so it's nice and even and thickness. And so you get into all four corners. Okay, so again, I'm using the back of the rubber scraper to spread the blondie batter. Okay, nice and smooth on the top. At this point, the blondies are ready to be put inside the oven. The last step is placing these blondies into the oven. So, as a safety precaution, I'm going to wear my oven mitts. And I'm going to step to the side of the oven and pull out the tray, the rack, just a little. I'm going to place the blondies in, push in the rack, close the oven door gently, and we're going to set the timer for 20 minutes. So you have to hit the timer on button, the plus sign to 20 minutes, and the timer is set. Once the blondies are done, we'll take them out and we'll see when they're ready. So the timer has gone off. Now it's time to take out the blondies from the oven. So I'm going to put my oven mitts back on, set it to the side of the oven, and we're going to check to see if the blondies are ready. Close the oven door gently. Next, I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going, to, I'm going to insert the toothpick right in the middle of the blondies. If the toothpick comes out clean, then we know the blondies are baked thoroughly. So I'm going to put the toothpick in and there's no liquid batter on there. So we know that the blondies are done. In addition, take a look at the golden brown color. That's what we're looking for when the blondies are finished. A clean toothpick, golden brown color. Once you're done, make sure you turn the oven to the off position and enjoy your blondies.